Let's talk about the options. The options here is that bottom line with these six icons um, where you can actually control the behavior of the layers and of Infinite Unify. We also got these tooltips. So if you're on a If you hover over one of these icons, then you can see what's actually doing. If you think this is distracting, you can also go to the flyout menu. This is this burger menu here on the top right corner. Click it and then you can just switch off the tooltips, then these tooltips are gone. So I prefer the version without tooltips. We're trying to use the same icons over and over for all our panels. So actually, if you learn one, then you can uh, work with all of them. So I switch it back on for this tutorial and I'll show you what it's doing. So for the first example, this is the Auto Open Gradient Editor. It's switched off, so I hit Create and it will just create the gradient. Everything's fine, gradient created. If I switch this on, it will automatically open the Advanced Gradient Editor. So you can directly go into that panel and create your refine your gradient so to speak and yeah create uh, whatever you want so this is the um, the gradient editor and that first icon will automatically open the gradient editor after the gradient is created however if you want to go back to this gradient editor just do a right click on that top um, color bar and this will open the gradient editor as well The second icon is the color selection. So let's just remove this one. So, and activate the color selection. So now if I hit create, it will give me this color range for skin tone and I can just refine how much of the skin tone will be selected and based on my image I can turn it up or down. I can even switch to a different mode and well pick maybe what colors do I have like cyan's and blues. So there's more blues than cyan's or I can even pick the highlights if I want to and then it will just pick the highlights for the for the selection. So this is actually pretty nice. So if I click this it will create also a mask based on this and the colors here are also based on this picked colors. So this is the color selection that will automatically open if you hit create. The next one is the black mask button. That means if I activate this instead of, let's just create it, instead of having it like this where a mask is created based on its colors, the black mask will just create a black mask instead of that. So you can actually just paint it in. So if that's more convenient for you, you can just activate this button here. So for the next example, this is the blend if. I'm going to do a quick selection of these blues here and create unify layer because I created a selection, I'm ending up with a white with a white mask. So if I hit this one, the apply blend if button, it will create a blend if for that layer based on its analyzed colors and it will just blend through the highlights and the shadows. So if you look in here, for example, for the shadows here, it will bring back some of the original colors and also on the in the highlights it's the same. Let's have a look at that blend of settings. So as you can see it creates this selection here. So this is pretty nice and That's the blend if. So if you ever feel like your selection is a little bit, I don't know, a little bit strange, then you can just apply the blend if. So for the next example, I'm going to open another image with Ophelia because I have this 
that's a really good example. It's the color mode. So the layer blend mode usually is set to saturation. That means if I hit create, it will, no, it's not set to saturation what I'm talking about. It's set to color. So if I create a unify layer, it will pick the skin tones, which is like that, and create will create the, the gradient for it. I can, in the layer mode, color, it will replace saturation and U. If I switch to U, it will only change the U. And sometimes this is really, really nice to set it to U because if you're looking at the arm here, set this back to color, here, color, it's, well, the arm has this kind of bending here and set to U, it will just replace the U, but the saturation keeps intact. I can also switch to saturation. Saturation is actually pretty cool because that way you have a saturation map that you can just paint in. In some cases, like that area here, this is too saturated. If I'm looking at that image, this is too saturated. So I can use that to create a gradient like this. Set that gradient is now um, set to saturation. There's a lot of saturation going on here. So let's just create a nice even gradient. And this is set to saturation. I invert that layer. And now I can actually slowly paint in that areas that I want to I want to adjust in saturation. Be careful here. Use a low flow to paint. And, and then you can just paint this in here a little bit. So like this. And now with that saturation, you can just also adjust the saturation here. So if you turn it completely down, then it's going to desaturate the image if you want to. So, But it's still desaturated based on a gradient. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty nice feature, actually. So I'm not doing a good job here right now, but I think you get the idea. So sometimes you just want to have a different mode and a saturation brings down the layer blend mode to saturation, C for color, H for U, and yeah, usually I'm trying to go along with the color layer. As you can see, it does a really, really good job here as well. As long as your selection and your gradient is cool, everything is fine. So let's go to a different image here. Let's just select one, just a simple portrait, like this one, and hit create. So we will create that gradient here. And now I have this gradient for the skin tones. Maybe I've applied a blend if to blend through the shadows and the highlights. And yeah, but still it's hard to choose which colors I want to remove. So that's what we have the preview for. The preview will actually um, remove the mask, it will remove the blend if, and if you turn your, set, uh, your opacity down, it will also bring this up to 100% and then bring it back to whatever it was. So now it's at 52. If I, it's, it's hard to choose if that gradient is good or not. If I hit the preview button, opacity is at 100, Mask is deselected, and now I can just switch it on and off and see how much the, the skin tone is actually changing. And if, if it's not changing that much, I can really use it to fix some, some stuff. For example, here, if I want to remove the background or the, the makeup here a little bit, maybe it's a little bit of the wrong color, I can see, yeah, that gradient might work for this. Maybe even bring the saturation a little bit down. So, and yeah, I think that's fine. So turn preview off because my my gradient is okay. So make that one black. Use a white brush with a low flow and just paint in where you want to fix the colors. Like this. 
does not feel like I'm painting, so, but I do. There's a very slight difference here. Took away some of these colors. Maybe bring up the opacity quite a bit so we can see it in the video. So yeah, it's, I think I messed up the saturation. Double click on the saturation button brings it back to zero. Maybe I don't need the blend if here, so I can really see the difference it makes. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the options that you have for Infinite Unify. So you can open the gradient editor, you can open the color selection automatically, you can create a black mask automatically. The blend if is more for how it behaves than how the layer behaves. It creates a blend if based on your selection or not on your selection, but based on the luminosity of the analyzed colors. Then you have the layer blend mode, which is color normally, but sometimes color is too much. So you want to maybe want to go to U or saturation. And the preview is just awesome if you have a mask already and if you have a blend if already and maybe have a low opacity, it's really hard to choose if that whatever is that gradient good or not. So you can really just choose that one. And then, last but not least, switch the tooltips off if you're distracted from that one. 